Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Today we will learn the first method to solve the quadratic equation which one is the factorization In the factorization in this method write the quadratic equation in the standard form means we will uh, write any equation in standard form in which one is the quadratic ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 if two numbers suppose any two numbers r and s can be found for the equation for this equation such that the addition of these two numbers r plus s is equal to b as we already learned in the first lecture that a is the coefficient of x square and b is the coefficient of x and c is the constant okay so if we will add these two numbers r and s then it will be equal to b means a coefficient of x and if we will multiply this r s then it will be equal to the multiplication of coefficient of x square which one is the a and the constant c so r s is equal to a c then this a x square plus b x plus c can be factorized into two linear factors two linear factor means the value of uh, here is the power of x is 2 means we will find the two values of this x okay let's have an example this 3x square minus 6x is equal to x plus 20 first we will convert it into the into the standard form standard form is the 3x square minus 6x minus x minus 20 is equal to a 0 as uh, 3x square minus 7x minus 20 is equal to 0 where 3 b is equal to minus 7 and c is equal to minus 20 okay no it should be r plus s is equal to b what is b b is the minus 7 here okay and r s is equal to the multiplication of a and c here a is 3 and c is, is minus 20 so r s should be minus 60 okay so now the two numbers this two numbers uh, minus 12 plus 5 is equal to minus 7 okay we suppose the first number r is equal to minus 12 and the second number s is equal to plus 5 if we will add these two numbers it will be equal to minus 7 which one is the b okay no okay so here also r f r is minus 12 and 5 if we we'll multiply minus 12 multiply by 5 is equal to minus 60 it will also be minus 60 okay okay now we'll move towards this 3x square minus 12x plus 5x minus 20 is equal to 0 here 3x x minus 4 plus 5 is equal to x minus 4 equal to 0 this one 3x plus 5 and x minus 4 is equal to 0 these are the two factors two linear factor linear means the value of x is 1 okay so these are the two linear factor and what is the solution is 3x plus 5 is equal to 0 and x minus 4 is equal to 0 x is equal to minus 5 over 3 and x is equal to 4 these minus 5 over 3 and 4 are the solution set of this equation this is the standard form and this equation okay 
no no these two solution sets means the x the two values of x should be satisfied this equation either this equation either this equation okay no we move towards that we will put these two values one by one to find that either this is correct or not first we will put this three what is the value first values minus 5 over 3 x square minus 6 minus 5 over 3 is equal to here minus 5 over 3 plus 20 it can also be written as 20 over 1 okay 3 into 25 over 9 minus 1 this will, will be multiplied 30 over 3 is equal to we can take LCM here fifteen. Sorry, here it will be five. Sorry, it will be five. Five plus sixty. Okay, this will be cancelled here will be take the LCM 3 is 25 minus 30 sorry here it will be multiplied is plus minus will multiply by plus here 30 and this one is 55 over 3 and this one is also 55 over 3 55 over 3 it means this first value minus 5 over 3 satisfy this equation means he will put this value here in uh, in replacement of x okay here 55 over 3 means uh, means it it these value this value minus 5 over 3 satisfy this equation now we will also satisfy the second second value okay here we already convert this in, into the standard form already minus 7x minus 20 is equal to 0. Now we will put this 4 here. Square minus 7 to 4 minus 20 is equal to 0. 48 minus 28 minus 20 is equal to 0. This 48 minus 48 is equal to 0 is equal to 0. It means these two solution sets, this solution set means the value of uh, this x, the two value of x satisfy this equation. Okay. In our next lecture, we will solve question number 2 of exercise 1.1. Okay. Take care. Allah Hafiz.